Me with my Mika's advantage out here over here. What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Give me a second here. Trying to get myself situated. See if we get some people in here. How's everybody doing tonight? Good evening, good evening, good evening. All right. I'm having a hard time getting my links posted through my computer for some reason. So I just had to Facebook and tweet out the links, try to get some audience in here tonight, get the chat room going a little bit. How is everybody's Monday? I hope it was fun-filled, entertaining, and enjoyable. <clears throat> We're going to talk some Ovechkin tonight because the guy's just been unbelievable as always. And um, some interesting stats, some very interesting stats, some insane numbers. I mean, we all know that. But this guy's just, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe him. I don't even know how to put it into words, if you will. Alexander Ovechkin, the guy has just been insane over his career. I mean, he's, he's getting up there too. You know, he's no more, he's no spring chicken anymore. That's for sure. So the way he keeps going, the pace that he continues on, I mean, he's a new dad, not brand new, but he's a new dad. And there's a, a lot in this guy's life and he just continues to impress. He's got one of the craziest one-timers I've ever seen. I mean, granted, he beats the Flyers every single time he shoots the bug, the Flyers goaltending, that is. Um, but, I mean, we're talking about a man who, just to go over some of the resume, he's got a Stanley Cup. Kudos to that. He's had eight seasons where he scored 50 goals or better. Eight. You need two hands to count that. Eight seasons. Huh. <laughs> eight different seasons, eight different times this guy has scored 50 goals or better. He's never scored under 30 in a season. Never, ever. Uh, prior to the beginning of this year, Ovechkin had 706 goals in his career. Uh, it was 15 years, which averaged out to about 47 goals a season. Again, 850 goals or better seasons. So far this year, he has 14 goals, which puts him at 720 goals all time. Good for sixth. Overall, 
Uh, he passed Phil Esposito when he scored his 718th. And Espo had a nice little um, message to him, which was kind of cool. But the numbers, and there's a couple other numbers we're going to go through in a little bit. Have the Capitals had a losing season since Ovechkin's been drafted and playing with the team? I don't even know. I don't even know if they've had a losing season. I mean, I, I could do my research on that for another time. I'm not doing it now, obviously. I want to talk to you guys. I want you guys to communicate with me. Come on, get involved in the chat. Let's have some fun tonight. We could thrash and bash Ovechkin, but that's just pointless and silly. As much as you want to hate the dude, you got to respect him. He's not Sidney Crosby, where you can hate and bash and thrash a little bit. As wonderful of a hockey player as Sidney Crosby is, and I don't say this because I'm a Flyers fan, but you can, you can bash him. You can get on him a little bit. There's some shit that he pulls that's just, you know, it's, ugh. you got to be careful what you say these days. You know how crazy it is? You got to be careful what you say these days. I had to make sure I thought before I spoke right there because the last thing I want is for myself to get bashed as if I was Sidney Crosby. Cry baby Crosby. But he's a phenomenal hockey player too. Phenomenal. Led his team to gold medal. Led his Penguins to I don't know how many cups. What was it? What's Crosby have? Three cups? I mean, talk about impressive. Whiny little bitch, but talk about impressive. They make Tim Horton's soup in a can up there, buddy? That's interesting. That's, that is very interesting. So it's, I mean, Tim Hortons is coffee and donuts. It's Canada's Dunkin' Donuts. Good for them. Tim Hortons is like a Wawa. It's not like a Dunkin' Donuts. It's like a Wawa. Like a 7-Eleven that just makes hoagies. Bill, I just said hoagie. It's a goddamn sandwich. Get it right, goddamn it. What do you think your Leafs do at the deadline, Ryan? Or leading up to it? And is Freddie the answer? Will Freddie carry them to the promised land? There's so much I could talk to you about one-on-one. -on -one. Just about the Leafs. So many question marks. Soupy, it's Soupy's team for the taken right now, huh? Is that actually a line right now? I haven't checked out the line combinations. Is that what you're telling me? Wait, wasn't VC just waived? Oh, they yanked them off waivers, huh? See, this is what happens when we get an audience. The chat, the topic just goes, whoosh, and and we don't know where to go from there. Who they pluck, Ryan? Who were the two guys the Canucks plucked 
from the Leafs waiver wire. Do tell, do tell. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, yes, yeah. I saw, I'm surprised they went at the VC. That kid's been a bust. Look at my Mika Zibanejad hair. My Mika Zibanejad hair is getting there, man. We're getting there. Travis Boyd. Man, you don't lose nothing. So that mean Galley is Galley stay up? Does he play on the team on on the bottom six the rest of the season? Yeah, he's a he's a. Oh, let's try that again. He's a good energy guy. See, I had to usa right there. I had to go in with the good and out with the bad. So he was a minus two or a minus three the first game he played. Ah, oh, he's a young kid. It's his first time touching NHL ice. You got to expect it. Oh, that's a whole different can of worms. You should be, especially if Keith's giving him those type of minutes. The kid could be something. Good luck to him and good luck to you Lee fans. Philip Forsberg? If only he had the cap space, he would look nice in the Leafs jersey. So tired. Waking up for work at 3.45 is terrible. I'm just so tired. I apologize for yawning. Can't help it. So to continue on with Ovechkin. Hey, Ryan, did you know that Ovechkin has had eight 50 goal or better seasons? And he's never, ever had a season where he scored 30 goals or less. How does he beat it, though, Ryan? It's, it's an impossible feat. It's, it's. Yeah, but he's going to have to play for like. All right. So right now he has 720 goals in his career. The, the lockout year, last year getting canned, and this year getting shit canned for <clears throat> a reduced season. So right now he's in sixth place. 720 goals. Sole possession of sixth place. He's 11 behind Gilbert Dion to tie him and 12 to pass him to become fifth all time. He's 21 behind Hall and 22 to pass to become fourth all time. He's 46 behind Yager to tie him for third all time. So he still needs 46 goals just to get into third place tie with Yarmir Yager. A third place tie, not third place tie. So that's just to tie Yager. It's unstoppable. I saw Yager against nobody in his golden years. 
Oh, that must have been a sick game to go to. That was sick, huh? That was sick, eh? Sounds like a good time, man. Yago against the great Matt. The mighty Matt Sundin. That dude was, wow, what a talent he was. Hey, listen, Yager's 49. He's still scoring goals. Mr. Kiratolo, wow. 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 <laughs> We're getting really technical, Ryan. Mr. Williams. I went to a Flyer Lightning playoff game. Um, and the Flyers were losing like 5-3. Not much time left to go in the third period. And a um, couple crazy things happened. Simone Gagne ties it up. Crazy goal, wrap around, bop, bop, boom. It was, it was insane. The place erupted. So I understand sick playoff games and playoff atmospheres in your hometown. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. So even though he's hard pressed to beat Gretzky, with the current situations, with the lockout, the shortened season last year, the shortened season, well, call it condensed season this year, um, you still think it's possible? He's got to be 100 goals away. I don't, I don't know Gretzky's final number for some reason off the top of my head. Slipped my mind. What's Gretzky's final number, Ryan? You, 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 if you don't know it, you can search it up for me and just throw it into the chat. <clears throat> yeah, you would think, but not to compare apples and oranges, but look at Yager. Look at Tom Brady, 894. There we go. So he's currently 174 goals off. Dude, 50, 150, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. He would have to play technically another seven years, another six or seven years. That's at 30 a year. I don't see him potting 50. Again, ever. It's a bit of a gap. I think he may be able to catch Yager. It's only 46 goals. At the rate he's going this year, he'll get 16, 17 of those throughout the remainder of the season. If he can cut Yager's number down to 30 by the end of this year, I think he'll be third all time. When all is said and done. Because then he'll only need to play at most two more seasons. I think I can see Ovi for two more years. Giving it a go. I think I can see him for three more years. Indeed. Alexander Ovechkin. Will he make a run for Wayne Gretzky's record? We should do a weekly checkup on Alexander Ovechkin. How many goals is he at now? How many goals is he at now? How many more goals is he going to score?
So you got your AEW on, Ryan? Who'd your dad grow up with? Very cool. That must have been interesting. I mean, it's still crazy, the abuse that, that they have to go through. Not abuse, but the disgustingness that they have to go through. People in this world suck. People like, oh, shit. It's really terrible what the black community has to go through just to play a sport. Just to play what they loved playing growing up on their backyard ponds and whatever. Holy cow. So Mike Marson's dad had him putting metal pucks through a washing machine to train his slap shot. Wow. That's crazy. That's pretty cool, but that's crazy. I wonder what a metal puck, I wonder how heavy that is. And if he was able to get it up, top shelf of mommy keeps the cookie jar, woohoo! He must have had some diesel shot. I can imagine, man. They got to be pretty heavy. I can imagine. A metal hockey puck to practice slap shots. Yeah, man. That's some serious business right there. I think they're terrible. I mean, Keith King Clayton is leading the way. He's 40 years old. Well, I think they're young. And I think that the more youngsters they bring in to develop chemistry with each other could be truly beneficial. They got a couple kids that are coming over right now. Um, that look to be really, really good and really, really special talents. I just think they got to find what clicks for them. They got to get closer. They're all kids. You know, my Zabana Jad hair, they're all kids. But they're terrible. Keandre Miller and Adam Fox, that's about all they have on the blue line. I don't want to hear Truba. Truba's days have come and gone. So... Enough about Jacob Truva. They have potential, Ryan. To sum it up, they have potential in a couple of years, especially if she's striking, you know, comes around next year. Oh, you can't spite this like him. He's a hell of a player, man. Is he, is he better than Tanev? No, see, I don't know. I would debate that. I would truly debate that. It's a split decision. It's, it's very questionable. And it's not like playing devil's advocate here. That's, that's a tough call, man. They're, they're quite the similar player. Elaborate, sir. I do, but I think I like the combination. I like the fact that Burke's going to push his hand. 
Um, I like what well, Hexel's going to draft phenomenally for the Penguins. But Burke's going to push his hand um, to bring them up a little bit quicker. So, yes, I think that the Hextel burke combination is very, very positive for the Penguins' future. You think that Adam Fox has more offensive potential than Chris Tanev? Um, it's a product of their surroundings, though. So, I guess time will tell. Well, I don't think they're going to buy or sell, to be honest with you. I think they need to buy. I think they need a top six winger. Um, maybe a defenseman. But I think they stand pat. They give it a run. They give it a go to make a run. And then they'll trade Latang in the offseason. Start building that, that future stock, if you will. That's my prediction on the Penguins. I'm interested to see what happens at the deadline or in general because between the expansion draft and most teams are so tight to the cap and some teams just not letting anybody be available. There's a lot going, there's a lot going on, a lot going on. It's going to be an interesting trade deadline. Interesting. And that's, that's putting it lightly because I'm exhausted. I feel like I say that every show. I wake up for work so early. It's just terrible. Their, their, their hands are tied, man. Their hands are tied to improve. So you got to see what happens. Like we all do. We all got to see what happens. Listen, bud, thanks for jumping in and having a quick conversation with me. Um, I'm really tired. My brain's on shutdown mode. So I am going to get out of here for the night. Tony, what's up, brother? I was just telling Ryan, Tony, that I'm uh, so exhausted, man. That I, I'm just, I'm shot. I'm absolutely shot. We talked to Vetchkin, we talked to Leafs. We talked some impromptu other stuff. Ryan, it was great chat. I appreciate you being here, man. I really do. Yeah, it's only Monday and I'm shot already. I'm scared to see what tomorrow's gonna be like. This waking up before 4 a.m. stuff is terrible. Tony, if you get the chance, come check me out tomorrow night. Come hang out. Say what's up. Stay for a little while. I'll definitely do a little bit longer tomorrow night. I got a couple of cool topics that I want to discuss. Um, tonight was Ovechkin. It was short-lived because I am just brain dead. Shot, fried. Luckily, it's only a Monday. Couldn't even tell you how long I'm going to last with staying up and keeping my eyes open tonight. I'll probably be out cold in a half hour. That's what I predict. But Tony, thanks for stopping in and saying hello, man. Ryan, thank you for being here. Everybody else that was out there listening, thank you very much. I hope to see you in the chat room soon. Well, I'll definitely be doing a little bit later tomorrow night. So if you can, great. I'd, I'd love to see you here. I'd love to get a few, uh, a few comments from you, a few opinions from you. Maybe do a little debate. Maybe just be in complete agreement. I don't know. Time will tell. But man, it's only five thirty out by you. You go yourself. Have 
You go have yourself a nice happy hour. You go get yourself started for the second part of your day. And you have a great one at that. Everybody else, have a great one. And thank you all for being here. And until tomorrow, peace.